Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Juggernaut Fitness TV. And today I want to talk to you guys about using the overhead press to improve your bench press and to help you develop a better chest while using the bench press. Now one of the biggest problems I see a lot of guys complain about who struggle to improve their bench as well as to get proper pec activation on the bench press and they have to resort to a decline in order to feel like they properly stimulate their pecs. Even though their bench technique might actually be good, they have full scapular retraction and all the things that you need to stimulate the pecs, and it's because their delts are the weak link in their bench press. And for anyone who's struggling with this, I would recommend that they need to put a heavier focus on their overhead pressing with a barbell. Now, not with dumbbells, because with dumbbells, you can't get the full range of motion that you need. You can't get that deeper stretch at the bottom, so you're not going to recruit the upper chest and in the interior delts quite as hard as you will doing even a full range of motion behind the neck or to the chest presses to the front. You can simply get a deeper range of motion that's going to give you better carryover to your bench press. And so if you're struggling with your delts being the weak leak in your bench, and again you always know if your delts hurt more than your chest does and you struggle to get chest development, either one of those is a good sign then you really need to put a much, much heavier focus on your overhead press. And what you will find is that if you do so and you start progressing on the overhead press, very shortly after your bench press will go up a proportionate amount. So if you improve your overhead press by 20 kilos over a period of time, you might find that your bench press, even without increasing weight on the bench press or training the bench any harder, might go up another 20 or 30 kilos as a result of it. And something else that I and many, many other strength athletes have noticed over the years, and this is something that all the old school guys seem to realize in the 50s and 60s, and they all put a huge focus on overhead pressing, is that you will never meet someone who is a very strong overhead presser who is weak on the bench press, even if they very rarely or almost never train the bench press. And there are cases of guys out there who do not do the bench press, who have gotten to where they could overhead press 400 pounds, who then go and have started doing the bench press, and there are examples out there where this has happened, who go something like a year without bench pressing, go back to benching for a month or so and bench press 500 pounds because you have complete carryover. So in short, if you're struggling to develop your pecs with the bench press, even when you know the technique is correct, in the way that I've described in previous videos in the past. And if your delts hurt more than your chest during a heavy bench press, then you really need to put a much, much heavier focus on the overhead press if you want to improve your bench and your chest. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot first.